Gallop apace, you fiery-footed steeds. Welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian, and this is Benji, and we have a huge request. Yoga for equestrians, for riders. We're really stoked to provide this video today after so many requests, but it's not just gonna be great for equestrians or horse riders. It's gonna be great for everyone, whether you're falling off the wagon and maybe you wanna get back on the yoga horse, or you're just a human in modern day world who could benefit from some core connection, some love for your lower back, your legs, and the psoas. So hop into something comfy and let's get started. Okay, my friends, let's begin on the ground today. Take your time getting down to the ground. And when you get there, just take a deep breath in and acknowledge that ah, you've selected this video, you've done right by yourself, and the main goal for this practice is to find your way to feeling good, whatever that is today. So just an acknowledgement of like, okay, I'm doing this. If you come down to the ground, and you're gonna bring your feet to the earth and hug your elbows in. Hands are gonna come up here and we're gonna ground through the feet and nice and easy, you're gonna inhale, just slowly ground through the feet and peel the hips up high. Torso slides between the hands here just a bit and then on an exhale, you're gonna bring it down. And again, inhale, lifting the hips up, grounding through the feet, massaging through the upper back body and exhaling, slowly lowering the hips down, and then inhaling, lifting tailbone, lifting hips, and exhaling all the way down. Now on this next one, we're gonna massage through the spine, so you're gonna inhale, lift the hip points, reach the fingertips all the way up and back, big stretch, shins forward, and then exhale, you're gonna massage, massage, massage the spine as you slowly lower down, reaching fingertips towards the sky. Cool, let's do that one more time so you can really feel it out. Inhale, ground through the feet, reach it up, lift it up. Big breaths here, and then on an exhale, slowly making your way down. You should be able to feel your spine pressing into the earth, should feel good and you can Reach the fingertips up a little higher to exaggerate this connection to the earth. Should feel good. And then lower down. Okay, let's do one more. What the hey? Reaching it up. <laughs> Taking a deep breath in. And this is not a, uh, about a static motion, right? This is kind of an ongoing full body thing. So really feel it out. See if you can really feel that compression of the spine as you Slowly lower down, fingertips reaching towards the sky. Awesome. <clears throat> and then slowly release. Cool. From here, we're going to scoop the tailbone up so that the lower back is nice and flush with the mat. Then we'll interlace the fingertips, bring them behind the head, and start to immediately open up through the shoulder girdle and through the chest. Now you got to bring the breath. Breath control is key. So big inhales and long exhales here. Breathing into your lungs, feeling the chest expand here. And then you can, of course, I invite this a lot, so a lot of you are already know, but in case you're new to the community, you can extend your thumbs here and also use this moment to just um, give yourself a little massage. Press the thumbs firmly into the base of the neck, top of the neck, the base of the head, the atlas. Keep breathing, stretching through the pecs. And then reconnect lower back to the earth. It might have come up just a bit. So again, just like um, my friends who are riders, we're having to multitask. We're having to be mindful and aware and activate more than one thing at once. So this practice invites you to do that as most of our yoga does. So as you continue to pin the elbows down, Breathe into all four sides of the chest. Big, big, big breaths in and out. Reconnect lower back to the mat. Okay, and then once you have all of this set up, 
you're gonna try to maintain it and slowly, one leg at a time, lift the knees up high. Shins parallel to the ceiling. Welcome, Benji, everybody. Welcome. And then check in with your low back again, so be really mindful. And then just test it out. The knees might come really forward here. So you're gonna test it out by drawing knees out just a bit. And you'll know when you kind of feel your core unwind. So just find a nice spot here to work today. And then in time, you'll be able to get your knees right underneath, excuse me, right over your hip points and still keep the low back down. So just notice where you are today. We're gonna to light up the core, inhale in, exhale, maintain all of this beautiful action you've created and lift the chin up, not in like a crunch, but up towards the ceiling. Great, take a deep breath here again, wherever you are in your breath cycle. And a long breath out. And as you breathe out, reestablish navel to spine, lower back to the earth. One more time, big, in, big inhale, we're holding here, elbows wide. And exhale, reestablish. Low ribs hug in, we scoop the tailbone up. And one more time, you're doing great, strong static hold here, neck is nice and long, inhale in and exhale out. Great, just lower the head and the neck, but keep the knees lifted. Core still turned on, baby. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so option to keep the head down. If the low back is fussy, that might be a good option for you. Or lifted. We're gonna slowly just tap the right toes down on the earth and then bring it up. Left toes down on the earth and bring it back up. Keep it going, a nice, Fancy trot here. You can point the toes. <laughs> Breathing deep. We're lighting up now the full length of the abdominal wall. The neck is nice and long. My elbows are starting to come in, so check your elbows nice and wide. Breathing deep. You're doing awesome. Let's do two more on each side. You got it. Face is calm. Breath is nice and full. Awesome, and then after your cycle of two, you're gonna slowly lower the feet down. You're gonna release the hands, bring them to the belly. Clockwise circle here, just to check in. Ah, oh, yeah. Beautiful, then from here, we're gonna lift just the right leg up, cross the right ankle over the top of the left thigh. Take your right fingertips, thread the needle here. We're gonna lift off with the left leg and we're gonna check in ah, with a reclined, ooh, yeah, one-legged pigeon. <laughs> so be mindful here and keep up with the breath. You have to be responsible for your body and the best way to be responsible for your body, I believe, with at-home yoga is by prioritizing the breath. So take a moment here to activate through your feet and bring the lower back back to the earth or cold. And then option here to stay here or inhale in. Exhale, peel the nose up towards your right shin. We're here for a static hold breathing, creating flexibility in the spine, opening up through the hip, low back. Nice, and then slowly release. Check it out, right foot's gonna continue to cross over the left leg. Beautiful, and then nice and easy, you're gonna take your knees over towards the left side of your mat. Hands are gonna rest on your right side body, right rib. Take a deep breath in here. If you wanna do another variation with the arms, of course, you're welcome to. Breathing deep. Awesome, then from your core, activate abdominal wall. That's what brings you all the way back to center, and we're gonna switch. So left leg kicks up. Just let the blood flow, opposite direction, and then we'll cross the left ankle over the right and lift up off the right leg. Thread the needle, activate through the feet, and breathe. Low back's connected, core is turned on even here. Breathing, breathing, breathing. And then stay here if you're at a nice place, if you've met your appropriate edge, stay here. Otherwise, inhale in, exhale, navel draws down to the spine, and we peel the nose up towards the left shin. Stay soft in the neck here, soft in the face, shoulders grounding down. 
holding, breathing. And then inhale in, scoop the tailbone up, and then exhale to slowly release down. Right foot comes to the earth. We continue to cross over with the left leg and supine twist. So legs, knees over to the right here. Hands come to rest gently on the left rib. And we breathe again. Great, then inhale in. Use your exhale to connect to your center, always moving from center. Come back through, and we're gonna come on to our left side. We're gonna press all the way up and continue all the way through onto all fours. Spread the fingertips wide. Come to tabletop position. Inhale to drop the belly, open the chest. Exhale to round through, chin to chest. Continuing, inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, rounding through. Inhale, the tabletop position. Exhale, reestablish, press away from the yoga mat, draw your navel up, strong and connected through your center. Cool, then from here, you're gonna slowly kick the right foot up, and then we're gonna continue all the way up and around, creating a big circle. So you're drawing a big circle with the knee here. One way. And then once you've established one way, take it in the reverse direction. Hey buddy, Benji, come here. And then bring it all the way down and we'll switch. Slowly kicking left foot up, connecting to the core and then drawing a big circle. There may be a tendency here for the neck to kind of drop off, guys. Lengthen through your crown. Create a full body experience. Find that posture, that connection from crown to tail. For any equestrians out there, you know this is important. And in yoga, we, we call it danda or shashumna, this midline. After you've established going in one circle direction, go in the other direction. Reconnect with your breath. Yes, and then slowly lower down. Take the knees super wide, toes in towards the middle. Send the hips back, reach it forward, forward. Extended child's pose, melt your heart down. And then bring the palms together and up and overhead. Walk the elbows, yep, all the way out. And come into variation on extended, extended child's pose. Find your breath here. You can rotate the wrists here if it feels good. And then taking a deep breath in. Once again, using your exhale to connect to your center and come all the way up and through. Walk the knees underneath the chest. Oh, no, <laughs> underneath the hips. <laughs> and when you're ready, curl the toes under and peel the hips up high for downward dog. So in your downward dog, especially for this first one, especially for this first one, sorry guys, I'm, I'm, I'm a pro, but I did take an allergy medicine today, so <laughs> I can kind of tell. <laughs> um, see, in your downward dog, you're in downward dog right now going, Adrian, what the hell are you saying? In your downward dog, my loves, bend your knees, basically. <laughs> So I know we always say that, but really today, especially on this first one, bend your knees so we can start to oh, really feel this through the hips, through the low back. And then reconnect with your center via the breath. And then when you're ready, inhale, lift the right leg up high and exhale, bring it all the way through. Let your right knee hover for just a second, lighting a little fire in your core. Sweet, and then step the right foot all the way up. If you need to use your leg, um, excuse me, your arm to move the leg, ooh, do it. Then we'll get front knee over front ankle and we'll walk the, the left knee back just a bit. So we're a little bit exaggerating this today in particular for this practice so that we can tap into that beautiful 
psoas muscle. So again, if, just in case you missed that action, we're walking the knee back. We're actively walking the left knee back. And then your body's talking, so listen. Breathe deep. If you've maybe cultivated a little tension in the shoulders, can you relax the shoulders down? If you notice that you're gripping through your right toes, can you spread awareness through your right foot? Take one more breath here. And then on an exhale, you're gonna press into the top of your right foot and imagine this being the root of the posture. So almost like even though your foot's in the opposite direction in a stirrup, there's this connection down as you lift up. So instead of just lifting up from your core or your, your hips, you're pressing into the left foot firmly and that's what lifts you up. Great, and then hands can come to the waistline here or if it's feeling okay in your practice today, maybe take the fingertips forward, up and back, let, allowing the hips, letting the hips lean in to the posture while still keeping that connection to your center, your core. Take one more breath here. Gently pull the right hip crease back and then slowly, slow release here. So slow release as you melt your heart towards your right knee and fingertips to the earth. Awesome. From here, you're gonna take your right hand around to meet your left, and you're gonna open up through your right leg for a lizard variation. Breathe deep. These are big stretches. They require your full attention and your full, full conscious breath. Breathe. If you have an active practice already and you think it would feel good, you can curl the toes under, lift that left knee, and reach the left heel back. Otherwise, stay nice and low. You're doing great, you're doing great. Okay, one little opening here, one little vinyasa. Press into the left hand. Inhale, reach the right fingertips up high. Just reach for the sky. You should feel big, big, big so as stretch here. Keep the feet grounded and on an exhale, thread the needle. Right fingertips are gonna go through under the bridge of the left arm and they're gonna reach towards your left toes. Keep reaching, keep reaching. We're not collapsing into the posture here, guys. You're pressing away from your yoga mat. Find the dynamics, use your breath. Yes, and then release, come back to lizard. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk it all the way through, back to your lunge, nice and slow. Cool, inhale again, look forward. Exhale, check it out from here. You're gonna slowly shift back just to tabletop position. Tabletop, tabletop. Reset on the tabletop, feel it out. And then curl the toes under, send the hips up high, downward facing dog. Same thing, pedal it out here, bend the knees. <sighs> Try to create a full body experience, awareness from the soles of your feet all the way through the fingerprints. And then when you're ready, here we go, inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, shift forward, knee hovers for just a moment, lighting a little candle in the, the core. <laughs> candle in the core, ooh, and then step the left foot all the way up. Take your time, no rush, no rush. And then lower your right knee down. And then same thing, check to make sure front knee is over front ankle, and then walk, actively walk that right knee back, ooh yeah, and breathe. Remember the invitation to find your way to good. It's not just gonna boom, click into place, like, oh, feel the burn, pain is gain. No, that's really not the approach here. So you gotta kind of enjoy the process, feel it out, <sighs> gently walk that knee back. <sighs> Basically, get into it, enjoy, <sighs> have fun. And then we'll establish that connection of the right foot on the ground, keep breathing. It's definitely gonna change things up. Find that connection to your midline. One nice active way to think of that in terms of, of the core is squeezing the inner thighs together. And then from there, you might slowly begin to lift up. Again, firmly pressing into that right foot all the way, hands come to the waistline. They can stay here, breathing, breathing, breathing. 
squeezing. Or we'll send the fingertips forward, up and back. Keep breathing. And this is a slow dissolve. So inhale in, slow on purpose. Belly comes to the tops of the thigh, top of your left thigh first. Heart towards your left knee. We'll melt it down nice and easy. Ah, when you land, take your left hand over to meet the right. Walk your left foot out. Little lizard variation. Yes. Breathe here. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And then of course there's the option to curl the toes under, lift that back knee, reach that right heel back, back, back. Just an, just an option. Then nice big open twist here, ready, right hand down. Inhale, left fingertips open up to the sky. Breathe deep. Focus is on the right, so as the front of the right hip crease, so you don't have to reach super far. And then here we go, threading the needle. Left fingertips dive down and in under the bridge of the right arm, and they reach towards your right toes. Breathe, you should feel a nice big stretch in the upper back. Remember to keep left foot firmly planted on the earth. Squeeze into the midline. You're doing great, breathe deep. Like I said, the muscles we're targeting today, river runs deep, so you gotta bring the breath. But you're gonna feel great. And doing this regularly will change the game. Awesome, slowly unravel. Hands come back to the earth, lizard pose. Inhale to look forward, stick with me. Exhale, then walk the left foot in. Frame the left foot with your hands. Pause here. Inhale, look forward. Woo, we're meeting our edge with the right hip crease, right so as, and then nice and easy. You gotta, you gotta light up a little fire in your core here for this transition. Come back through to all fours. Guess what? Bring the knees together this time. Paint the yoga mat and send your forehead down. Balasana, child's pose. Just a cycle of breath here, so make it good. Fabulous, from here, press into the tops of the feet, tuck the chin and slowly roll up through the spine. If this is not okay in your knees, guess what? Side saddle, okay? And if side saddle is not good in your knees, you can just come to a comfortable seat. Okay, here we are, inhale in. Exhale to draw the shoulder blades together and down the back body. Sweet. Then check it out. From here, you're gonna inhale, send your fingertips left to right, kind of like a Texas T. That's on a breath in. On an exhale, you're gonna gather the energy and bring your palms together at the heart, namaste. Sweet. Then here we go, tucking the chin, reach behind the neck. Inhale, reach the fingertips up towards the sky. And then on an exhale, float the fingertips down. Twice more, inhale, reaching the fingertips out halfway, left to right. Exhale, hands press together at the heart. With the breath, chin to chest, reach behind, inhale all the way up. And exhale all the way down to the earth, nice and slow. <clears throat> Last time, here we go, inhale, halfway lift, arms left to right. Exhale, palms come together, and if this is a little funky for your brain, that's. It's on purpose, so you're doing good. Chin to chest, reach behind the neck. Inhale, rise up, lengthen through the crown. And exhale to float it down all the way. Beautiful. All right, take a deep breath in here. And you knew it was coming. Exhale, horsey lips out through the mouth. Again, inhale in. Don't be shy, here we go, let something go. And inhale in again. Oh, 
awesome. If you're practicing with a pet, yep, here he goes. You can't see him, but he's on the other side of the camera. Let's do one more. Inhale in. Exhale, horsey lips. If you're practicing with a pet or a child, they're gonna love horsey lips. They also love Kapalabhati breath, they always come. The joys of at home yoga, am I right? Okay, from here, let's get off the feet. We're gonna come off the feet and we're gonna come right back to our backs, right where we started. Okay, <clears throat> from the back, you're gonna take your feet up towards the sky. And if you're at a wall, you can actually bring your legs up to a wall and take a moment here to just let your legs rest on the wall. <sighs> Hands come to the belly. You're doing great, just letting the blood flow opposite direction, letting the hip sockets drop down and in. I'm connecting to the core. Low back flush with the mat. Keep breathing, you're doing awesome. All right, close your eyes. Take three more breaths here. And you can bend your knees as much as you need here and if your legs are shaking, breathe deep, it's all good. Awesome, now if you're in a more restorative mood here, feel it out, you're gonna stay put either with your legs up against your imaginary wall or your legs at, actually at the wall. And if you wanna move to the wall right now, you can't. Otherwise, we're gonna do one more round of core. So you're gonna inhale, reach your fingertips towards the, the sides of your feet. And then exhale, we're gonna lift the chest up towards the feet. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. And you're reaching to touch your toes, you're moving with your breath, you're not crunching through the neck. And each time you lift up, you're drawing the low belly and the upper abdominals in towards the middle. Keep it going. Find your breath. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Now on your next couple breaths, take it over towards the outer edge of your left foot. Good, now to even and out, yep, you guessed it. Take it over towards the outer edge of your right foot. Hi Benji, and now take the arms up and behind you and then all the way up on a breath out to touch the toes. Inhale, up and behind you. Exhale, touch the toes. Keep it going. Three more. One more. Awesome, from here, if you're at the wall, bring your feet together and slide them down the wall. If you're not at the wall, bring your feet together and down to the earth. Open the legs wide, Supta Baddha Konasana. Hands can come to the belly. Give them a little, a little, get the belly muscles a little love. Give the belly muscles a little love. Welcome, Benji. You love horses. We love horses. We love horses. Because we're from Texas. Just kidding. All stereotypes aside, once you're a horse person, I feel like you're always a horse person. Keep breathing here. I remember when I was in fifth grade, I think. Fifth grade honors. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. But I was in fifth grade once and um, we were, just allow gravity to do the work here, guys. Breathe deep. We were writing books and then we were like making books. Like, so you had to like make the cover, bind it, of course, you had to do the hard work first. It's kind of like my real life now, writing my book. <laughs> it's like, can I just make the book, 
It's like, no, you gotta put some time in. So I did mine all on horses, naturally. Extensive horse book. I should actually just publish this book now. But I was able to find this horse wallpaper and I bound my book in this horsey wallpaper. And that was a comprehensive book on horses somewhere. I gotta ask my mom where it is. All, everyone out there is like, shut up, Adrian, but especially <laughs> the equestrians that are like, please shut up. You don't know anything about horses. <laughs> okay, I'll take a quiet moment and I'll allow you to do the same by closing your eyes and taking a couple more quiet breaths here in Supta Vadukanasan. This is our final shape. And then when you're ready, begin to gently deepen the breath one last time. You can slowly use your hands to bring the knees back to center. And then here we go. You're going to hug your knees up towards your chest. Give yourself one final big hug. Lots of love for the low back. If you don't have time to do this whole video all the time, just make sure you get on the ground. Get that low back nice and flush with the mat. Give yourself a big hug. And you can always take it away from there. But if you can only do one thing, you can get on your back. You can do the first part of this video and then call it a night. Okay? When you're ready, roll onto one side. Press back up. Or press up, rather. Come into a, a little meditation pose of your choice. A little seated posture where you can sit up nice and tall. And then align head over heart, heart over pelvis. Find a beautiful connection from the crown to the tail. Lift the corners of the mouth just a wee bit. And bring the palms together at your heart. Gently bow your head to your heart. First, thank yourself for taking this time to check in with your body, your breath. To practice. Love you so much. Take another deep breath in. And we'll bow all the way to the earth, feeling one last stretch in our beautiful back body. We'll quietly whisper, Namaste. <laughs>